Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time with some recent pickups. I went to a couple of uh, LCSs, picked up some books based off of current spec and upcoming spec. So if you want to see what books I picked up, stay tuned. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, thumbs up when you can. Really appreciate it. Helps out the channel. Helps the channel grow. So um, let's see. So went to a couple of LCSs uh, recently and um, picked up some cool, you know, spec books on the cheap. And I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. Um, some of it is current spec, like I said, and upcoming spec with some new comic book day uh, releases coming out today so uh, let's get to the books um, so the first place I went to first place I went to um, ended up going to an LCS this was over the border in Connecticut and I got tipped on this book from uh, my buddy spec collector so if you haven't uh, checked out his channel Please do. He does. He does pick up some cool books from time to time, and uh, and tells you why they're potential, you know, big hits. So uh, check out that channel when you get a chance. So I was rummaging through the um, fifty cent dollar bins and ended up finding uh, this book, Magic: The Gathering, The Shadow Mage, number one. This is from Armada Publishing, and I believe it came out in 93 or 94, but uh, there's some great cover yeah, art. Our cover artist was Maverick. I believe it. It's a little signature there in the bottom. But um, this is the first published Magic the Gathering comic book. You know, it's from a small publisher, Mata Publishing. They did a few different um, covers. I mean, a few different series. This is the only cover for this book. And... Um, this is going for around, I don't want to say 10 to 20 bucks raw. And these came poly bagged. And it came with also a preview in the back. Um, let me see if I can show you real quick. In the back side of it, it has a Valiant pre. Oh, they call it a Valiant free view for other books. There's obviously a Bloodshot book there. There's another. Magic the Gathering cover there by, oh, I said Maverick, it's Mayrick, Mayrick, and um, Exo Man of War, and it also comes with a Magic the Gathering card, trading card, and I believe they all come with the Fireball trading card, because I've only, you know, I picked up a few copies there, so I want to show you, picked up a few copies there, so I picked up one, Two, three, <laughs> four copies. So four copies. Um, three were in the you know three for dollar bin, and then I found an additional one in the in the regular dollar bin. So at that price point, you really can't go wrong, especially for you know ten to twenty dollar range raw. I wanted to say upcoming spec because Boom Studios, I believe, acquired the rights to Magic the Gathering for the comic publishing, and they're actually coming out today with a new comic book day uh, release. So I expect this to go up a little bit in value for the first published uh, Magic the Gathering book. So if you find those for five bucks or less, look around. Like I said, they, they're in the back issue bins. Not a lot of people wanted these books. So... I ended up picking up that at that comic shop. I uh, got some more books there. So this has to do with some more uh, current spec with the Falcon and Winter Soldier. And um, I believe I ended up spending like, I want to say $30 total. And... A lot of these books were like, I want to say four or five bucks a piece. And then with the uh, Magic the Gathering books, I spent like an extra, you know, two bucks on it. I bought my son a little uh, TMMT, uh, you know, truck or whatever, toy truck. And that was like 
12 bucks. That was like the most thing, <laughs> single thing I spent my money on. But um, current specs. So for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, ended up picking up this all new Captain America number one. This is, um, I believe it's the first solo series for uh, Sam Wilson as Captain America. You know, nice copy. I want to say it's probably a near mint copy. Five bucks. It's going around 10 to 15 bucks right now. And I believe this is going to go up a little bit more in value once Sam Wilson actually dons the Captain America's uniform. So uh, nice cheap spec to get out right now. Um, ended up picking up, this is, I want to say from volume, I want to say volume three or volume four. This is the Captain America from the Civil War epilogue, issue number 25. It's a great cover. I like this cover. This is the uh, Death of Captain America. And it's also the first um, Sam Wilson, uh, Falcon, and Winter Soldier team up. So, nice little pickup for five bucks. And I say cover price is four bucks, so it's, you're not really paying much over. You know, so that was that was a nice pickup. Also picked up, uh, let's see. Oh, I picked up another one of those copies too, sorry. I picked up two copies of all new Captain America number one. This was also five dollars. So, like I said, look out for these books. It's basically cover price. You know, cover price was four bucks, so I paid five bucks a piece. And uh, I think there was one more book I picked up there. And, oh, sorry, picked up another one. Another copy. So there, there was the, uh, that was the 20 bucks I spent. There you go. Four books, five bucks a piece. Plus the, uh, the two dollars for the uh, Magic the Gathering and then the toy. So that was my 30 bucks spent at that comic shop. So you can't go wrong at that price point. Because these are going to be books that are going to, you know, in the short interim, uh, go up in price. So I went to a different LCS. This one was in uh, Massachusetts. And it's one I go to from time to time. Try to get some um, cheap back issue bin stuff. Some new comic book day releases. The uh, shop owner is really nice. And he's, uh, I, I bring my kid in there all the time and he has a blast. So um, ended up going through the... Marvel back issue bins, and um, they had some some cool Bronze Age stuff. I ended up uh, picking up a bunch of those, and I uh, actually sent over to my buddy Mike. He's going to be doing an unboxing, so pretty soon I, I got him a nice little AOK. -okay, so I think he'll like that. Um, so I won't show off those books, but um, the books I did pick up over there, I got a nice little stack. All right, small stack, small stack. And um, ended up picking up, was it four books? Yeah, four books on top of the um, the books I got for the AOK forum. So uh, going back to the Captain America Civil War run, this is um, issue number 25. And I paid a dollar fifty for this. This was the, the Wizard World, the Wizard World uh, Los Angeles um, cover. I never knew this book even even came out, so this was pretty cool. They had that there for you know a dollar fifty. This is obviously the death of Captain America and the first team up of Winter Soldier and uh, Falcon. Um, it's not a near mint by any means. It's it's probably like a fine plus. It's a bunch of uh, I'm kind of more on the uh, harsher grader than than I feel like most. But there's a bunch of spine picks on the side, and, it, and it's a uh, mainly black cover, so it's it, it's you know, the flaws are going to show off pretty easily, but it's a book I've never seen before. It's a Wizard World uh, exclusive, so that was pretty cool. Um, ended up also picking up a regular cover A. Like I said, picked up another copy. They had these in the back issue bins. I only spent like, I think it was 12 bucks total for these books. This was $3, a little bit cheaper than the other LCS. This was a VF plus copy and the um, the two big you know hot spec books that came out right before um, the release of uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was the first appearance of Joaquin Torres so um, that book was you know 
going for quite a bit of money when um, prior to the release of the uh, actual show. And I was like, all right, let me look through the back issue bin and see if they even have this uh, Sam Wilson run. And they did. They had a few of the issues there. So I picked up uh, issue number three, which is like a really hot spec book. As you saw, he did appear in the first episode. He's the, um, he's the soldier that helps him out on the ground with the Falcon. So that's Joaquin Torres. They didn't say his first name, but he was referred to as, uh, I think it was Lieutenant Torres. And um, he later becomes the new Falcon. Uh, whether that happens in the series, who knows? I'm leaning to he probably does because Sam Wilson will become the uh, new Captain America. I'm expecting by the end of the series. If not, this book is obviously going for a ton of money, you know, so it's 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 going to be, you know, sold either way. But I got it for $3. And um, the last issue, they didn't have number five there, which was the first cover. But they did have number six, and this is the first uh, full appearance of uh, Joaquin Torres as the new Falcon. And um, this is a nice copy. Also paid $3 for it. So uh, that's the haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I uh, wanted to show you some cool books I picked up recently. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below if uh, if you found any of these books in your uh, in your LCSs. All right, guys. So until next time, Mark Spectre Comics out.